SpaceX's usual pace of progress in terms of Starship development took a bit of a dip last week due to the extremely cold weather in Texas and the subsequent failure of the Texas power grid. Very much in line with SpaceX company culture, SpaceX employees took some of the time to help out the community and rescue sea turtles from the frigid waters. This week, though, things are back on track in terms of SN10 testing. SpaceX tested the aft flaps on February 21st. SN9 FAA investigation closed. The SN9 FAA investigation is now closed. According to a statement released by the FAA, the FAA provided oversight of the SN9 mishap investigation conducted by SpaceX. The SN9 vehicle failed within the bounds of the FAA safety analysis. Its unsuccessful landing and explosion did not endanger the public or property. Just to be clear, the process that SpaceX went through with SN9 is a routine procedure carried out by the FAA after an anomaly or incident. On Sunday, February 21st, Elon mentioned via Twitter that there's a good chance of SN10 flying this week. In line with his statement, on Tuesday, February 23rd, SpaceX conducted a static fire test with Starship SN10. Swapping out Raptors At the time of the static fire, SpaceX did not confirm whether the test was successful or not. However, a few hours later, on Wednesday, February 24th, Elon weighed in, noting that one of the Raptor engines was suspect and SpaceX was making a decision to swap it out. Within hours of Elon's tweet, SpaceX swapped out the engine and on February 25th, a second static fire test was conducted. SpaceX now appears to be targeting no earlier than Monday, March 1st, for the flight test. Backup opportunities are available on March 2nd and March 3rd. Third time's a charm, a new lucky number. The SN10 flight test will be SpaceX's third high-altitude Starship test flight with a full-scale Starship prototype. From a historical perspective, SpaceX's lucky number really isn't exactly three. It's more like four. SpaceX reached orbit on the Fort Falcon 1 flight, and the first successful static fire test with a full-scale Starship prototype was with Starship SN4. Maybe this time, though, things will be different. Elon has stated that there is a 60% chance of full success on this flight. SpaceX has made continual improvements in terms of its high-altitude Starship test flights so far. On the SN8 test flight, fuel header tank pressure was low, which resulted in a rud. On the SN9 test flight, we didn't see the same anomaly. SpaceX improved on that. We instead saw something entirely different. One of the Raptor engines failed to ignite. On the SN10 test flight, SpaceX will ignite all three of the Raptor engines before down-selecting to two of the engines for the landing burn. The SN8 flight test occurred on December 9, 2020. The SN9 flight test occurred on February 2, 2021. So if SpaceX is able to pull off the SN10 flight test before the end of February, then the company would have cut the time between flights in half. SpaceX has recently made upgrades to the landing pad in order to support SN10's landing. The pad suffered a bit of damage after SN9 slammed into the ground. SpaceX's Boston Dynamics robotic dog Zeus was also spotted this week inspecting the landing pad. Progress on SN11 SN11 construction is now complete, and the vehicle awaits its fate in the high bay. With SN9 and SN10, we saw two starships stationed at the launch pad simultaneously. Will SpaceX do the same for SN10 and SN11? This week, Raptor engine SN52 arrived at the site. It is expected to support Starship SN11 test flights. Other Starship prototypes SN15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. SpaceX has just introduced another Starship prototype to the growing fleet. The first officially confirmed SN19 part, the methane header tank, was spotted on Friday, February 19th. At this point in time, Starship 16, 17, 18, and 19 are still in relatively early stages of construction. Several components and sections have been spotted for these prototypes. However, stacking of the sections has not yet commenced. SN15, on the other hand, is much further along. SN15 stacking is currently in progress in the high bay. Right now, we know that SN15 will utilize a different thrust buck design than earlier Starship prototypes. Right now, though, it's still not totally clear what other upgrades we'll see from SN15 and up. 
An extensive number of thermal protection tiles are now being added to a future Starship prototype. Again, we still don't know what serial number this is. In terms of Super Heavy, BN1 stacking continues. Starship Elevator This week, we also got some updates about NASA's human landing system. More specifically, on SpaceX's Starship Elevator concept. SpaceX recently demonstrated the assembly of the system to NASA in record time. I think SpaceX fans and followers have been wondering for some time now how exactly crews would board Starship on other planetary surfaces. For context, Starship measures 50 meters in height. It should be interesting to see how SpaceX refines and iterates on the design concept over time. NASA is expected to narrow down to two systems or Option A awards in the coming weeks.